Hey guys, so I'm so excited right now to be doing the Fenty Beauty review. When I saw the campaign, I was just like, wow, I need to get my hands on that. But then there was a hurricane over here in Florida, so everything was closed. But as soon as everything opened up again, I went to Sephora and I was just like... So if you guys want to see my thoughts on all of the products, just keep on watching. Alright guys, so my eyeshadow and my eyebrows are already done because she didn't come out with any of those type of products. I'm sure she will in the near future, but... For now, I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. And I want you guys to know, if you do have dry skin like me, you need to use a primer or a moisturizer that is very hydrating. I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Pro, um, no, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. And I'm just going to put that all over my face. So yeah, you want to make sure you moisturize really good if you have dry skin because if you want the foundation to work and to look as good as it can, you really need to hydrate since it's a matte foundation. If you have a oily type of skin, I feel like this would look amazing on you and you really ha wouldn't have to do too much. So I did get the Fenty Beauty foundation brush and I really like it especially for foundation. So you just want to make sure you shake the foundation because it is water-based. And I'm just going to put it in the back of my hand. So I'm just going to go right in. And when you're at Sephora, you want to make sure you get a shade lighter because when it sets, the color does change. It doesn't oxidize because the color stays the same. Like you see how it's a yellow undertone? It will stay yellow, but it won't get gray or anything. It's just that when it sets, it becomes like a little darker. And do you guys see how good this foundation color is? Like, it looks so good. So I'm just going to be putting some more foundation. You see how it looks lighter? That's because it's set. And I definitely do love this foundation. I wanted to, instead of doing a first impression for you guys, I wanted to try it out so I know how to work with it and I know what I like and what I don't like about it. And what I'm going to tell you guys right now, from everything in the collection, I love the foundation. Like... It is definitely my new foundation and let me show you guys what I was using. This is the foundation I was using. This is the NARS Sheer Glow. I know a lot of people use this but I don't know. I like this one way better. Um, this one is 47. This one is 32 and this one comes with a pump. This one doesn't and I feel like this one looks better so Sorry, NARS, but so now I'm going to put some on my forehead. I love this brush because I could get right in there without messing up my eyebrows. a ton of brushes but I never saw a foundation brush like this so I just wanted to try it and I really like it if you guys are looking for a new foundation brush um, you could definitely get this one I really like it I feel like this is such a good color for me all right so the other thing I did get was the highlight and contour sticks and I bet you guys have seen this already that they're magnetic 
when I first got these, like, I couldn't stop playing with them. I love this type of packaging. I have never seen anything like it before. For concealer, I'm going to be going in with the shade Bamboo. This is it right here. And this is how much product you get. Right there. Which, in my opinion, is not bad at all because it's really thick. And I don't know, I feel like this would take me, if you use makeup like every day, this would take you about like three months to finish. This would take me about like six months to finish. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that on my forehead. Oh, and it is really creamy. On my chin. On my cupid's bow. On my nose. And I'm not going to put it right under my eyes. I'm going to put it right here. Like right there only. And I'm not going to put it under my eyes because I like liquid under my eyes. I like to be like really liquidy so I'm gonna go in with the NARS radiant creamy concealer and I'm just gonna put that one right under my eyes so as you can see this is like the perfect highlight color for me it matches my NARS pretty good so now I'm just gonna blend that out with the real technique sponge own sponge but So yeah, I told myself to either pick from the foundation brush or the sponge. And I just decided to go with the brush because it was just so pretty. And I had never seen like or have a foundation brush like that. And I'm happy I did because it works really good. And I'm telling you guys, this foundation looks so good in person. You just have to make sure you prep your skin if you have dry skin, but it looks amazing. So now I'm going to go in with contour, and the contour I'm going to be using is the color Mocha. So I'm going to be putting the contour right here on my cheekbones. And on my forehead. And this contour is like super creamy. Like, do you guys see that? It like just melted into my skin. Like, it didn't give me no trouble blending. This makeup is like so natural. Like, it's so beautiful. I'm going to put a little more. So I just went ahead and put a little bit more. And now I'm going to show you guys how it blends with a brush. Do you guys see how easy it is? Like, this contour is just so buttery. Like, look how easy this blends with a brush. So now I'm going to go in with that same contour shade and contour my nose.
And I got this brush. Look at this little travel size brush. This is the portable highlight and contour brush. And this is so cute. I had to get it. It looked perfect to contour my nose. I've been looking for a brush that would be perfect to contour my nose. And this is literally perfect. Like, it would just blend it out so easy. And then I don't have those two strong lines. I love this brush. Ever since I got it, I haven't stopped using it. Alright, so now that the nose contour is blended, I'm going to go in with the concealer shade Bamboo. And I'm going to put that on the bridge of my nose. Alright, so now I'm just making sure I have no creases under my eyes so I can set with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. So right now I'm just setting that. Do you guys see this? Like, I love the way my skin looks right now. So I'm gonna set under my smile. I'm gonna set on my smile lines because they do crease up. And Rihanna didn't come out with like a setting powder or anything. She came out with a blotting powder, and I really like it. I'm gonna show you guys. So I'm just going in with my own blush. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush, like always, and this is in the color Peaceful. and the foundation sets itself like it feels so good so this is the kilowatt freestyle duo highlighters and I got them in the color mean money and hustla baby and I just love those names first of all so this is hustla baby the one I'm about to show you guys and they are so creamy and buttery. And then this is Mean Money. And this is more of the subtle one. I don't know if it's showing up. These highlighters right here. Amazing. This one is more of the subtle one. I heard you're supposed to um, layer them. It does look really good when you layer them. But honestly, I would love if Hustla Baby was just its own pan by itself. But right now I'm going to go in with Mean Money. Can you see that? It's more of like the soft one for like every day. But usually when I do my makeup, because I don't do my makeup a lot, but when I do it, it's more like when I'm going somewhere. So I would always probably use this one, Hustla Baby. Hustla Baby. And oh my god. Like this highlight is so pretty. I just keep putting more and more because it looks so good. I'm going to put some on my brow bone. I'm going to put some on my Cupid's bow, Me Money, on my nose. And then I'm going to put some on my nose. I mean, on the other side of my cheek. Guys, it looks so good. Like, it's so soft. It's not really... Like, I don't know how to explain this, but do you guys know, like, 
how some highlights like let me know if you guys have this problem but some highlighters emphasize like texture especially if you have like little micro bumps i get some micro bumps like on this side and it doesn't really emphasize it's not like emphasizing them like it's super smooth on the skin okay i'm gonna put some right here so i'm gonna show you guys this right here this is the invisimat blotting powder And when I saw she was coming out with this blotting powder, I was like super excited because I needed like a touch up powder and I went ahead and I just tried to, um, I just bought this one. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte one and I just threw this in my purse so whenever I get like oily or anything, I could touch up and after I would use it like two times, it would make me look cakey. So when she was saying she wanted to make one that you could use throughout the day, it wouldn't make you look cakey. It didn't have flashback and it would just set you and you could just keep on using it. I was like, exactly what I was thinking. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how I use this. You guys see how it's white in the pan and then when you put it on it just disappears. I did try it with flash, no flashback. And it just sets you real quick, gets you matte again. I just love it. Did I try everything already? Alright, so there is one more thing for me to try. It's the Fenty Glow Gloss Balm. And I've been using this every single day. Like, it smells amazing. Like, it smells so good. It is so glossy. And when I say glossy, it's not sticky. Like, it's really comfortable. It smells so good. It's not sticky. It feels so comfortable. Like, I love this gloss. Like, it is just, I love it. I'm going to set my face with the Hangover 3 in 1. This is the close up. My skin literally looks like there's a filter on it. Doesn't it? Like, you guys need to get your hands on this. This is the new generation of beauty. Alright, so if I had to tell you guys, if you could only pick one thing, what would you get? Everything. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. I really hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.